Minute by minute ratings just shot up. Yeah. The Samsung Glide has a touch screen, a full corded keyboard, and it's 50 bucks cheaper than the iPhone, but is this thing any good? Uh. Didn't buy that other touch screen phone because it wasn't on your network? Well, now there's a chance to try out the touch revolution with the Samsung Glide. A 2.8 inch touch screen slides up to reveal a full QWERTY keyboard that's sure to make your thumbs happy. Store media on 8 gigabytes of micro SD memory, surf on a full HTML browser, and snap with a 2 megapixel camera, all for $149 with a contract. Okay, it's pretty small and has a keyboard, and I felt it earlier, it felt sturdy. Yeah. I want to ask you about what you think about the design. Do you think it was designed well? Um, it's, it actually has I a like good feel. I like the way it feels, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it does feel sturdy. The slide The is actual, good. the glide. Oh, you glide, mean? I'm sorry. Mm, click. Uh, it feels really good in your hands. It doesn't feel like a toy, it doesn't feel like a child's plaything. very sturdy. Now, it's about 0.7 inches thick, and it has a little bit of weight to it, uh -huh. which means it might feel like a little bit much in your pocket, you know, if you're used to, uh, like, a, like a razor or a, an iPhone, for example. But does slide up to reveal a full QWERTY keyboard right there. So, mm -hmm. hey, there you go. 2.8 inch touchscreen looks pretty good. Um, but the question with all touchscreens. Yes, is, okay, so I had a question. So, Bruce, our producer, said mm -hmm. he was like, he had some trouble with that the more he used it. Yeah. But he was using his finger like that. I used my thumb and I held it like I would normally mm -hmm. hold. I felt like I was getting a little bit better uh, yeah, work well, out of it. You know what? what do you I, think? They're getting better. I feel like the, the touch sensitivity on this is actually pretty good. It still does that haptic, vibrating feedback thing, yeah. which I'm sure you can shut off, but I just it's, I feel like it's cheesy. But here's the thing it's finicky. When you actually scroll, well, which I'll let you do. Feedback. The iPhone isn't really giving you But that. you don't need it because it's so sensitive. But, but click and I scroll disagree. with your finger though and well, watch the way the contacts go the, the, it actually sometimes it's really responsive other times it's way it loses its calibration sometimes. and yeah and scrolling through things like on contacts here it actually lags if you scroll quickly and you stop yeah. it will continue scrolling a little bit more which is really really awkward and there's really only one button on the front of the thing uh so hanging up or doing other functions while you're on a call can be a little annoying okay so. Well, I want to talk to you about the, the keyboard. Yeah, because that's because really the it's feature. It's supposed to be like, you know, if it's a touch keyboard, so it mm -hmm. feels better. I mean, is it better than having it on the touch right here? Uh, it's if barely it was, better, if, if it was, at all. If it was spaced out correctly, yeah, it's so I mean, off. The, the spacing is weird. The keys are flush. They're easy to press, which is nice. Uh, but there's a weird location that. of the keys here. I mean, the it's space so bar's here, and it's so tiny, and you use it a lot. You end up, and, and, and because of this beveled edge around it, you actually end up hitting, uh, for me, the edge a lot well, more than hitting the actual space bar. You can see that they space it out like a one big rectangle when that's not really, it's like, if it was just moved just a tiny bit, if it was just yeah, adjusted just a little bit, it's really bit to be not the realistic. easiest thing. Look, you do get used to it after a while, but mm -hmm. it's still not in as intuitive as a Voyager or a Sidekick. So it's not for me an end-all solution, and mm -hmm. it's not better than the the iPhones on-screen keyboard. Okay, well, what about the features on this one? So you know, iPhone has a lot of features. You, you can drink beer, decent amount. Yeah, no, no getting digitally so. drunk on this guy. Uh, you have a two-megapixel camera with a flash, which is nice. That, that it has yes. a flash. Uh, stereo Bluetooth, which the iPhone does not have. GPS, full HTML browser, browser uh, with EVDO, and now, micro SD, you can get up to 8 gigs of storage mm -hmm. now, which isn't bad. No Wi Fi, though. So you're not, oh. I mean, you have the high speed EVDO, but that's it. There's nothing faster for it. Okay. All right, now they, they recently lowered it to 149. Yeah, not surprising. With the contract. So we can <laughs> overlook the problems for that. I mean, I just think without that's the contract. That's very Jersey Christmas like, mom of you. It's just so. With the contract. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid. It's like, it, without without the contract, you're paying like $400. Yeah, look, okay, with a contract, which most people get their phones with a contract, uh, I still don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's got a lot going for it, but the implementation just is not the best. So if you have Verizon and mm -hmm. you really need a touch screen, you might want to check out the Voyager, because uh, this yeah. thing, we're giving it a 70%. All right, yeah. there it is. It's a C minus, kids. Look, the vice isn't bad, it's just barely satisfactory. <laughs> hey, look, an iPhone! Yeah. Hey! Computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed.